Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a long time, but I wanted to come back and make a rewind plan with me in my B6 rings. I'll actually be having my B6 rings setup video soon, so stay tuned. And here I'll be rewind planning the week of Valentine's Day. So I actually made these inserts from Adobe InDesign. And you can find something exactly like this, but with dates on Jesenia's printables. And here I'm putting down the date covers from the Scribble Prints Co.'s Cyber Monday Mystery Kit. And I already put on put the date covers on the others on the left side of the spread because I messed up on the dates of last week's. So here I'm using two washi tapes, one from One Ton in a Million and the other from Simply Gilded. I think it was Planner Con Mama or yeah. Also, as I put down the headers, or the washi as my headers, I'm actually having a birthday sale this weekend from the 22nd, or, yes, the 22nd to the 24th. I'll be turning 21 on Sunday, the 24th, so I'm excited, and I wanted to let you guys know I'll be having 30% off my entire shop, and I'll be having a birthday sampler and I hope you guys come and celebrate with me. So first I put down the date dots that's also from Scribble Prints Co. And this is in the silver foil. for Monday I put down a fancy label to mark down that I had an online quiz but I didn't really take it on Monday I took it on Wednesday since it was we could do it till Sunday which I was so confused about <laughs> and I put out an icon from sweet kawaii design and put down the full box that was the caboodle I actually don't know what a caboodle is until everyone went craze about it so <laughs> put a printing icon for from Fox and Cactus and I went from the bottom up to make sure that I had enough, enough space and I put down a washi strip on top of where the pull boxes are so I can layer on top the munchkin half box or yeah half box sheet that's um, like the planning and I was setting up my B6 rings, which I still haven't. <laughs> also, I put down two um, little things. And to mark down that for my crochet project, I was on my second skein. And here, I don't know what I'm doing by putting down full boxes. So here I was planning out what full boxes I wanted and I didn't really mind where it was for Wednesday and Friday, but I really wanted to make sure I had some on the bottom and one on top and it was a girl. So now I'm working on Tuesday and I'm putting down four TV little things to mark down the TV shows that I watched. Maybe it's a little redundant, but it's okay. <laughs> In here, I'm going out of order and putting down work labels that I found from another sheet that kind of matched this kit. 
but I wasn't really sure. Um, so I put down one for Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I think I put down a fancy label at the end for Saturday work, which is, yeah. <laughs> And now for Wednesday, I'm putting down a half box, which I later moved and shifted up a little because I didn't have enough room that I wanted to put down, put, put the things that I wanted to put down. And here I was marking that it was my friend's 21st birthday uh, on the 14th. And here I'm putting down $2 Tuesday and yeah, I normally have $2 Tuesday for every week I'm very proud of myself that I was able to get it out but I think for March I will be taking it slow and maybe releasing two two dollar Tuesdays at a time but there might be more than what it used to be so now I have a bunch of half boxes on my hand and I'm putting down the washi that I used from the bottom washi and I like to layer it to add more like or to use more space in my spread and kind of match it everywhere so it all like comes together as one spread and here I'm using a washi strip to mark down that I I don't remember to mark down that I had no school and these scripts are actually in my shop and you can actually customize it to say whatever you want it to say but I made one for no school and here I'm using an icon from blush blush and chai um, if you guys don't know who that is it's from inspired blush on YouTube and she actually had a shop but right now she's closed but I will let you guys know if she's open again. And to mark down that, it, I had to go to ShopRite because we had no food in the house. And for Wednesday, I put down a fancy label and the full box and a half box underneath. And then I put down my little things that is redundant <laughs> to mark down the TV shows that I watched. And now I needed to figure out Thursday and I had to use undo to move everything up so I had enough room to fit two half boxes and my little things and here I'm using the scripts holiday scripts from my shop this is in the purple or the royal purple foil way because I used up my my silver and I was too lazy to reprint one for myself again so here I'm using undo to move everything up a little and I kind of over spewed it a little and here I'm using a tissue to dab off the excess and the sticky parts and now I'm moving everything up and here I'm putting down the little things and the half box but I wanted to make sure that the little things weren't next to each other. here I'm going out of order again and working on Sunday but I wanted to make sure I had enough room to put down that I was doing schoolwork most of the day and I used a another half box from Once More With Love the munchkin and here I wanted to put down a piece of washi from the bottom washi so I can mark off a bit more time and to add like a bit more decorativeness to it and here I'm putting down a fancy label but I also wanted to make sure I had enough room to put down something else and here I'm working back on Friday and I used a checklist or a checkbox list from another kit that matched them to the kit to the kit I'm using right now or the full boxes that I'm using right now and here I'm using a fancy label. Actually, it was for Saturday. Never mind. <laughs> and 
and I used a fancy label to mark down that it had work. So working on Friday finally, I'm actually putting down two little things to mark down the two TV shows and a package that I received which was the Scribble Prince Co's moving box, the small one. Since I already had two of the big ones, I didn't need another big one. And here for Saturday, I'm putting down another fancy label and the washi to mark down the chunk of time. And that I had another quiz, which was due on Sunday. And I actually was sick this the entire week and I'm still kind of sick or I just got worse again. Um, and I put down a little things for a package, which was my order from Scribble Prince Co. And here for Friday I put down another fancy label and another piece of washi. And for Wednesday I actually put down a character sticker from Create with Pen. I forgot what it was called what their character name was but I put down some like it was grumpy and here I'm putting down on Saturday that I posted about the birthday sale on Instagram. And here I'm putting down a old Scribbler sheet from Scribble Prince Co. Both of them are from Scribble Prince Co. And to mark down something. <laughs> and working on the bottom, I found a food icon to mark down that I was going grocery shopping. And for Sunday, I used a Coffee Monster Co. Ikea bag to mark down. I went to Ikea to buy my mom a dinner table. Um, and then for Saturday, I put Payday and Cash Envelope, which is also in my shop. And here I'm putting down the foiled scripts that I put, that I made. I actually won't be making the Scribble Prince Co. because One, because she also has those in her shop. And here I'm putting down the TV labels, which are also in my shop, and you can actually get custom ones if I don't have the TV label or the TV show listed. You can actually message me, and through the and in your order, you can add which one you want. And here I am getting all of the TV labels out. <laughs> And putting them right where they were supposed to go and these are all actually all in silver foil and I have I think nine foils available at the moment and here I messed up on the resident and it went crooked so I had to fix it with undo so yeah Also for Wednesday, I forgot to put down the icon that I chose to mark down something important for school, which was the bunny onesie from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I'll be right back after everything's written out. So here is the final spread, and I like how it turned out. And here I'm flipping through my previous spreads that I've created off camera. And I actually used these from, or the bits and pieces from Scribble Prince Co's grab bag and other kits that I found that wasn't really using, planning on using on my Erin Condren. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!